Okay guys, this is uh, Swagger, uh, and this is my channel dedicated to um, Halo 3, Modern Warfare 2, and Skate, and I'll also be posting videos of me doing stuff on how-tos for computing, um, such as like HTML, MySQL, and just simple how-tos. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to open your ports for your router for Xbox 360. Um, what this is going to do is in games such as Halo 3 and Modern Warfare 2, um, it's going to open your NAT allowing you to join anybody's game or Xbox Live party that you desire. Um, so it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go over to your Internet Explorer. You're going to click here and in the browser you're going to type in your router's IP address which should be 192.168. Dot one dot one. You're going to click enter. It's going to ask you to put in your username and password. Uh, me, I haven't changed mine from the default, so my uh, username is admin and my password is admin. Um, if you haven't changed yours, you can Google it. That's what I did. Um, but it also comes with um, your username and password in the booklet that you get with your router. but. If you're like me, you've probably already lost that by now, so you can just Google it and type in the exact router model that you have, and it should give you a list of email, of username and passwords to try, which is what I did, and I found this. So, um, But after you do that, you're going to click OK, and it should log you in to your router. No, I don't want that. But um, anyways, it should look something like this. It's going to be the setup for your router. Um, once you're in this, you're going to scroll over until you find applications and gaming um, and you're going to open up your ports. I've already opened up my ports um, so it's going to look something like this when you're done but I'll go ahead and walk you through all the settings for each port. Um, but anyways you're going to start off by naming each port. Um, I basically just named mine all Xbox so I could remember um, what it goes to so it's pretty simple to remember Xbox. Um, so anyways, just typed in Xbox. Um, the first port that you have to forward is 80, and it's going to end on 80. The protocol that it's going to use is TCP, so you're just going to scroll, which there's only three choices. Um, you're going to click TCP, and in the IP address that you're forwarding it, you're going to put in your Xbox IP address. Your Xbox IP address can be found on the dashboard of your Xbox. All you're going to do is turn on your Xbox and go to settings and networking and then configure network settings and it should say the IP address somewhere in there so basically it's just going to be 192.168.1. something but mine's 100 so I type that in and you click enable and then for the next port which is 88 I named it Xbox again um, and this port ends on 88 and the protocol for this one is UDP so you're going to scroll down click UDP and again you're going to just type in the IP address of your Xbox 360 and you're going to enable it. Um, the next uh, port is 3074. Uh, I'm not sure exactly but I'm pretty sure that's Bungie's port um, or Halo 3's port so all you shady online jerks have probably seen this that hit people offline. Should be a pretty familiar port number for you. Um, but anyways, you're going to type in 3074 and 3074. Um, the protocol for this port is going to be both. So you just scroll down click both. And again, your IP address is just going to be your Xbox 360. Uh, you click Enable. And the last port that you have to configure for your Xbox is going to be 53. And again, it's going to end on 53. Uh, the protocol for this one is going to be both, just like the last one. So you just click both, and again, the IP address is going to be the IP address of your Xbox. So again, you just click Enable. Um, once you have something that looks like this, it doesn't really matter the order in which you enter the ports as long as all four of them are entered. Um, but you should just have something that looks similar to this. Um, after that, you're going to scroll down to the bottom, though. You're going to click Save Settings, and after it loads... Uh, should give you this box or something similar to this and you're just going to click continue. Um, after that it's just saved all your settings and you can go ahead and exit uh, the browser. And now your NAT is opened and you should be able to join anybody you'd like. 
So that's all until next week when I get my capture card and I'm going to start posting videos of me playing MLG on my 50. So if you have any other questions or anything related to what I mentioned earlier in the video, um, I'll post and how to if I know how to do it. If not, um, I'll try to find a video that tells you how to do it and give you the link to that. And until then, it's been fun, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.